Grand Pinnacle, North Carolina, June 1st, 2021. You can see this aircraft's in really bad shape. It was a fuel spill. There was two souls on board. One sadly did not make it. So we're going over this NTSB final report from this aircraft. So let's start off with listening to what the witnesses had to say. The plane flew over his house and he very low and was silent, like the engine wasn't running. And that was um, what, what I saw was a plane when I, I got there was down the hill from what might have been a reasonable approach for an emergency landing. And it was in wings were broken off. It was it was a bad sight. So wings are broken off, as you can see here, nose gears damaged damage to the front end cockpit looks survivable but with the amount of speed it came in at it looks like a pretty open field so pretty sad that this aircraft um landed the way it did and came down hard this is the analysis from it so a student pilot and flight instructor departed on a local uh, training flight about 39 minutes the engine lost power so the airplane continued its descent and descending through 1075 mean sea level uh, reviewing the airplane's flight log indicated that the airplane flew 2.8 hours since it was most recently filled and that was one week before the accident um, you can see that they departed with the left wing about two-thirds full and the right wing about half full fuel consumption indicated that the flight log was consistent with about 14 gallons per hour so it seems like the fuel was definitely an issue on this one this was the aircraft of beechcraft a23 musketeer 2 november 8780 mike and post-accident examination of the engine and fuel system revealed that the left main fuel tank was breached the right tank which remained intact contained about one pint of fuel the fuel selector was on the right tank position portions of the fuel system contained a trace amount of fuel with no fuel found in the fuel flow divider when tested the electric boost pump function normally other than the absence of fuel no anomalies were noted and the engine would have procured normal operation based on the info is likely that the engine lost power and a result of fuel starvation when the fuel supply on the right tank was exhausted the procedure for a loss of engine power in the pilot handbook included switching the fuel tanks had the flight instructor switched the fuel selector from the right to the left wing tank it is likely that the engine power would have been restored so here it is here a view a view of the fuel selector um please like and subscribe if you like this uh ntsb final reports and then here it is from the above uh flight you can see firefighters are on scene you can see open field and the aircraft with a little bit of ground scarring and being a firefighter coming on scene you, you know you want to make access try to make sure that you control that fuel spill um take care of any fire hazards and then try to get that patient that survived to the hospital wait for ntsb investigators so the probable cause on this one is the flight instructor's mismanagement of the available fuel which resulted in a total loss of engine power due to fuel starvation so very sad um, seems like you know some of these things are very preventable if you want to go over more ntsb final reports you can go and hit playlists and then i have a bunch of final reports so thanks for watching this is our foot i'm keone i'll see you guys next time